Hello everyone, I'm back with another video, and in today's video it's going to be me and Zig Zarier versus Master Dracona and Cap Mixon. Now of course before we start, go on ahead smash the like button and subscribe to both me and Zig Zarier's channel. Link to his channel is in the description below the video. And of course, turn on the notification so that you will not miss an upload or stream from both of our channel. Alright, let's go and do this. Okay, I'm going to be the red player and Zig Zarier will be the yellow player. Let's see how this plays out. It, you know, at this point in time or at this point in battle, I was sincerely lagging that I was only able to collect like 30 containers. That's it. Literally 30 containers or two. I forgot. <laughs> okay, here it goes. So yes, going HQ3, of course, hiding some scouts there above that cliff right there at the top to see if there will be any pun uh, pending bunker attack or, you know, tower rushes or anything. Scout here. Okay, made by my coyote. Okay, HQ3, nothing crazy so far. But we see an avia factory there at the top. Okay, adding more supply centers and uh, more coyote to confirm my theory or to confirm my uh, hunches. Okay, Zigzar got plenty amount of boxes there and as you guys can see his base is now going HQ4 along with Jaguars and Special Vehicle Factory. This guy on the other hand has some assaults at his base or in his base. Scout at the green player's base made by Zig Zyre. So that's a pretty good look at the green player's base right there. Okay. Nice scout though. Nice scout. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Now we see here an Avia Factory from the blue player. Six or seven supply center still. So pretty much the same. It's just that my base development is so delayed because I collected a few box. I just now going or I'm just now upgrading to HQ4 which is not a very good sign. Green guy is going HQ4 as well and the blue player is I think going HQ4 as well pretty much. Now this uh, coyote is trying to reach that other side or is hiding above the uh, right side of the cliff right there but I don't think he, he will be able to see another day or even scout. There goes the vertex making its uh, appearance. Okay, not able to scout much with that coyote. Meanwhile, I have a porcupine there and additional porcupine in the way. I'll go full land army composition. Mm -hmm. The vertex is still trying to be annoying as to annihilate all the scouts that, are, that we have placed across the map. Now Zigzire has an avia factory there, you know, like giving us uh, the idea of he will have albatross, but he will mainly go for the land to defend himself with due to the map layout. Yes, uh, Zigzire also experiencing some uh, lag right there. Okay, those vertex tried to destroy or actually destroyed my uh, the sniper tower. Hence, I'll place some of my uh, most most of my porcupines. So, of course, to cover my base. Zigzar is going to move out with the Chameleon. But there's only one Chameleon and three Porcupines and two Jaguars with that. Now, he's going to annihilate those infantry to, you know, in the middle of the map to uh, gain map dominance. Which is quite good. There it goes. Annihilated them. Okay, depriving both the blue and the green a scout that they, de that they, de uh, that they need it. Okay, we see an Avia Factory level 3 and an airfield. And still, Zig Zyre will continue to press forward onto the green player's base, putting some pressure, which is quite nice. And we see here an empty base, nothing really crazy to be seen. We see Zeus force firing at that location. Okay, additional uh, Chameleon is uh, going to arrive at his first detachment. And I'm also going to move out with my Chameleon along with the uh, Five Jaguars and four Porcupines. And now we're now heading towards the blue player's base. Let's see here. I'm building an anti-air. Of course, there are Vertex. And uh, I don't want to leave my base unattended. At least one or two anti-air will defend. Will help us defend. Okay. I'm using a gold scouting boost for us to see further. So that, of course, we can uh, 
we will know how many units are there. We see four Zeus walls at the at the top side of the base. Okay, bunkers being placed. A shield generator and a rocket tower, of course. Confeds, bunk, barrack spam. You know the deal. Barrack spam all the way. Mm -hmm. And I'm also expecting a Thor here, so I will have to move constantly to avoid a, an effective bombing run. There goes the first Thor making its appearance, spreading my units like a uh, madman, so that of course the bombers will not make a, an effective bombing run. Sig is going to be able to dispose uh, a supply center. Okay, got denied. A, com a bomber from the green player. I sent a detachment there with one Jaguar at the top to get rid of the vehicle factory. Sig will now retreat momentarily as he tries to somehow occupy the blue player's army and not my army right there at the entrance of the, in front of the uh, blue player's base. I'm going to uh, again move around to avoid an effective bombing run. Rocket tower has been destroyed as you guys can see. Barracks spam all the way. Now we see here one Jaguar destroying or trying to somehow destroy that vehicle factory which will cripple the blue player and depriving him of Zeus production. There goes the Vertex out of desperation. Okay, ooh, whoa. Okay, that was not a very best, uh, you know, that was not a very best uh, bombing run, but man, that almost got me. <laughs> Okay, we see Sig Zyre's base, anti-air being placed, of course, to somehow counter those uh, Thors that both the green and the blue has. Again, over-relying on Thors means that you have less uh, on the ground. Ooh, bombing the wrong airfield, but was able to uh, destroy it. That was actually pretty nice. Okay, now I'm going to have my Jaguar ignore that Zeus and uh, just straight up destroy that factory. Very nice. Okay, again, using a gold scouting boost. And looking at the base of the blue player, there's no rocket towers, no vertex, no whatsoever. So I'm just going to lounge forward at the very back of the base and destroy the airfields to, de to deny this blue player any more production of vehicles and also air. There it goes. So the blue player is now going to bomb Zigzire space. There's only one Zeus and a shield right there and some typhoons that are not that are sieged up. Zigzire also attacking from the bottom side of the base of the blue player. Green player is now going to attack him. Okay, the lack of units at Zigzire's base is very evident due to of course his units are uh, at the blue player's base. Okay, trying to avoid a Thor bombing run. I was able to avoid the first one, but the second one I was not expecting that. Hence a clean hit. Although that did not manage to destroy most of my, uh, all of my army, some of my army lived to see another day. Zig Zyre pressing forward on the blue player's bottom side of the base. Meanwhile, I'm at the back of the blue player's base and dealing some heavy damage, destroying the airfields. Meanwhile, mm, nice bombing right there with the albatross, since those uh, Zeus are without a shield generator. Okay, we see some Jaguars here, four Jaguars from on Zig Zyre's base. Okay. Now those Jaguars are, are Zeus are going to retreat due to being outnumbered and are in a very bad for formation due to the landscape. So an effective bombing run can simply wipe them out. Okay. We see two assaults here or two riflemen ganging up on that Zeus. Imba. Okay. Again, moving. So to avoid an effective bombing run. And... We managed to dodge it again. Oh, solid hit on that airfield. Mm-hmm. Very nice hit, though. Nice hit. Okay, the green player managed to come back, and this time with a shield generator, although that's not the very best micro on the shield. Okay, I have reinforcement here on my end, the newly produced units. Since Zigzire's army is within the... Green player is base, I'm going to have to help out Sig to defend his base. So I have two detachments here. One is to, of course, dispose of the blue, and one is sent to help out Zig Zyre to defend his base. There it goes. Mm hmm. 
His units are clumped up. If there are torrents along with this army, his units are going to evaporate. Here are my army. Zigzire's army is there. Oh, what a cool animation there. Freezing time. And there's the wars. Hmm. Solid hit, although that was not the very best uh, hit there. Okay. Man did not manage to destroy a Jaguar since, of course, two bombs only hit. Okay, I'm going to defend from this side. This can be seen right there. I'm going to move closer to get in range and clean up the rest of the army. Meanwhile, Zigzire's army is still here and trying to deal some damage. My first detachment is still trying to clean up the blue player's base. Oh, wow. <laughs> Alright, there goes. Green player's army has been annihilated. And Zigzoyer Imba? Yes, me Imba? No, I'm not Imba. Okay, all of the uh, units under that chameleon has been destroyed. Only the chameleon is left. Okay, time to dispose of that rocket tower. There it goes. Uh, although there's still one rocket tower out there. The chameleon ran out of energy. Reinforcement are going to somehow make sure to clean those up. Ooh, nice hit. Nice hit. Although there's not enough tours. Okay, there's not enough tours right there. I'm gonna have to move around. Okay, two more Thors. They grouped it into. Uh, he grouped it separately. Okay, managed to dodge all of that bombing run, thanks to uh, always be on the move. Okay, keep keep moving around if there are Thors. And I think at this point, the green player has had it and are going to throw the white flag. All right. Well, again, guys, if you liked the video, go on ahead, smash the like button, and of course. Turn on the notification to all notifications so that you will not miss an upload or stream from me and Zigzire's channel. And of course, link to his, uh, link to Zigzire's channel is in the description below the stream, uh, below the video rather. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> I just finished streaming. Okay, so yeah. Thank you for watching. Have a great day and good luck with your battles. Yeah, Zigzoyerimba, victory. Victory. Bye now.